Los Angeles reflects the real essence of a global village. It has the region's greatest ethnic diversity. There are more than 20 visible ethnic enclaves in this community. We all possess innate healing capacities. Healing occurs from within. We can learn by carefully observing nature. Traditional medicine to me is something that's passed on for years. That's, it's a natural and ancient wisdom that we bring from the plants, from our people, from the elements that are already here. I compare it to Western medicine in a sense that it's a derivation from it. And Western medicine has manipulated and built upon it, but sometimes it can go to an extent. So with traditional medicine, there's a balance. So we begin with our, our premiso and then, you know, we begin to go into our, our danza, our prayer, because each danza has its own prayer and it has its own you know, story and its own meaning for the steps. And that's what we use to heal and we have in thoughts and to release that, that negative energy because a lot of the times when, you know, we have a lot of stuff that's like just held in, you know, it can be very you know, bad for the health, like, you know, you begin to get these somatic symptoms and, you know, it creates the illness that doesn't allow us to heal. So with our, our dances, with our steps, our prayers, we're able to release that, that negativity. Humming to drumming to singing. Recent research suggests that the influences of certain rhythms, sounds, and vibrations can help us resist and recover from a wide variety of ailments and bad energies. We have this incense, uh, they call it uh, sage, white sage. Some people, they, they, they like it for, because smells, they like the way that smells. Other people, they, 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 they burn it for, for good uh, energy. Uh, we have another one, Copal. They use it for bless. Be, uh, some people want to bless their new home or the, or the new place they, where they're going to live, maybe a new car or, or personal. This Chumash medicine is a very mild and gentle medicine. The idea is that if you are a basically healthy person, you don't need much medicine to push you back into health. So the idea is to be healthy first of all and keep your body on that healthy pathway and then you don't need much medicine. So Chumash medicines tend to be very safe, tend to be very inexpensive because you can just gather them in the hill, hills here. If you, but you have to know what you're doing and you have to do it right. You have to follow the instructions, which a lot of people have difficulty doing. Learning from age-old cultures is significant to many areas in our lives. Where would humanity be if we spent all this time rediscovering the will or repeating the mistakes of our forefathers? Yeah, powder and hina powder. Mix it and any kidney trouble. Besan. Sure of uh, conventional uh, Western medicine. We, we should really be open to more traditional uh, ways of healing people. There's a huge enclave, huge resources in LA itself. There's a growing trend in vegetarianism and veganism, particularly in Los Angeles. Healthy eating and acquiring proper nutrients are becoming a staple in many families' diets. Health and culture are intertwined. Healthy living practices are tied with traditional customs, making them a major expression and component of their cultural identity and dietary preferences. Food that people used to, or that my grandparents used to eat, my great grandparents used to eat when they were in India, this is stuff they used to get from their farms, and it's nothing processed that you get these days. You kind of go through, you go through a drive through and it's all there. This is more fresh vegetables. It's good for your overall health. You get nutrients, you got vitamins, you get protein, all that in one meal. 
and so that's why it's, it's healthy, it's delicious, and it's fresh. What more could you want? <laughs> I'm here and the authenticity of each dishes and our mother is so particular that the customers get you know maximum out of uh, their satisfaction you know the health is the main concern here you know. This is a different kind of grain. Is uh, roasted. You can eat it anytime. You know. It help you for your to strengthen your teeth and a lot of fibers. Mm -hmm. And the next one is the, the Ethiopian butter. You put the live spices in here, like uh, black cumin, garlic, ginger, and everything. It help you for your body. You know, regenerate. It's really good. Yeah, because you know it's a main, you know, one of the nature, and human bodies are one of the nature as well. So we use, you know, one of the nature mm -hmm. to treat, you know, the healing power inside instead of you know, artificial things playing just in the human body. And just you know, let the body do whatever you know, they do. So you know, all other organs suffer from you know those medications. The city reflects the real essence of a global village. It has the region's greatest ethnic diversity. People get healthier by uh, tea or natural herbs, okay, and uh, uh, to avoid some of the side effects that people may experience. The cinnamon stick, and lately our um, city of hope, the scientists, they are doing some research on the use of cinnamon stick essence for treating cancer patients and this is the latest development and also thousands of years cinnamon seems to be very effective in uh, traditional uh, medicines in the far eastern countries now it became a staple diet in uh, american society also like zucchini hair made like something like that because you have a yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And this one is the beetle leaf. Beetle leaf. Beetle leaf. Yeah, the people chew yeah. on it. You know? Chew, yeah, they chew. It's again good for your uh, they want, energy. Yeah, they want if you, uh, if you have to cough, cough, something like that. You put a couple of leaves in the hot water. Yeah. Hot water. And, and this is a beetle, na a beetle leaf. and. According to this gentleman, the owner of the store, he says this is good to minimize your cough. Cough, yeah. yeah. Your cough. That's good. Yeah. Traditional healing takes into consideration the well being of the patient's mind, body, and spirit, making remedies more personalized and holistic. You know, I think that there can be a lot of avoidance of taking uh, certain medications, uh, you know, traditional medications, you know, that you get at a pharmacy uh, with, you know, let's say the use of traditional Chinese medicine like acupuncture or qigong or cupping, in addition to then supplementing that with herbal therapies. So I think there's a lot to be learned, you know, on, from both Western and Eastern, from, you know, both ends of, you know, medicine, so that we can see what's really most beneficial for the patient. Um, and I think that that's really, you know, where, um, you know, all of this is going to say what's really, you know, going to be the most effective and also the least invasive. Cultures around the world have practiced healing arts for thousands of years, and they still practice these holistic forms of health and wellness. There are many strengths in the understanding of healing approaches across cultures.